Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean, our realtors. Well, welcome back to episode two of Pro Tips from a Lender. And if you haven't seen the first episode, I'm going to put a link to it somewhere up in here or on this corner. I'm not sure which one's going to be. But uh, we got an amazing lender, Miss Jen Bailey. And this is going to be a series we're going to try to do on a weekly basis because I want my viewers to have all the information. And we've got a nice subject today uh, for, about house hacking. It's become a popular trend with uh, ex how expensive everything has gotten to. So uh, with that, let me bring on Miss Jen Bailey with Legacy Mutual Lending. She is a, an amazing lender, and you guys, we're going to love her. There she is. She's coming on now. Hello, Miss Jaden Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, it, It's hard to hear. I'm like trying to bring that up a little bit. Yeah, I should be using the right microphone. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. It's just kind of quiet, but that's okay. Everybody can just listen in and pay close attention to Miss Jim Bailey because she has some amazing information about house hacking. I will talk loud. There we go. Okay, so house hacking, one of my favorite ways to gain wealth in real estate. There's recently new uh, changes to lending with Fannie Mae back in November. So just a few months ago, three months ago, they made this change. And it's my favorite house hack because it helps buyers gain wealth through investing in multi-unit properties, okay? Multi-unit means duplex triplex, which those are pretty rare, or a quadruplex, so two, three, or four units. The key is you have it has to be owner-occupied, so you have to live in one of the units. But if you're willing to purchase a multi-unit property and live in one of the units, you can do it with a tiny little investment, very little skin in the game, meaning your down payment can be small. So we already knew this was a hack with FHA loans, where if you're going to live in one of the units, you can get an FHA loan and do 3.5% as your down payment, and then rent out the other units and you're going to gain so much wealth because you're getting rental income, it's probably covering your mortgage and then some, and you're gaining value through home value appreciation. But now the game has changed. Now you can do this with a conventional loan. So you don't have to do FHA. Maybe a conventional loan is better for you. Maybe the interest rate's better. Maybe you like it because you'll be able to get rid of PMI eventually. So what, what's PMI? Hi, private mortgage insurance. So it's a if you don't have 20% equity in your home and you have a conventional loan, you have to have PMI. Once you reach 20% equity, it's gone. Huge. And, and for people to know, PMI uh, is money go that goes to the bank just so you have enough skin. In, the bank has enough of your skin in the game that you don't walk away from it, but you get nothing for that. So if all possible, avoid that PMI. Uh, it is... It's just money you're just tossing away. So if you can, being able to go conventional, get that 20% skin in the game to the bank so they know you're not going to walk away from it. It's very important. I will always want people to explain if you're doing FHA loan, probably doing PMI insurance, but if you can save up enough, put that 20% or if you're using VA, can you use a VA to do what you're talking about? Yeah, if it's owner occupied. There you go. Uh, on a VA, you, that's benefit of VA loan. You don't have to put 20% down. Uh, how much are you having to put down to do this uh, house hacking you're talking about? Only 5%. It used to be 20. You'd have to put in 20% to do this. Now you only have to put down 5%. So this allows those newly investors that say want to gain real estate, they want to start having rentals, but they don't have the 20% down saved up just yet. They might have 5% down. This allows them to enter that market that previously was only reserved for those that had a ton of money saved up. Well, now that first time home buyer or second or third that only has 5% saved up can still buy a multi-unit, occupy one of them, qualify with 5% down and get the other units rented out. It's a great, great housing hack. And we're so excited that Fannie Mae uh, made this change. So now we can do this with conventional loans and not just FHA. Yeah, that 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 is absolutely huge. Um, I dabble a little investments. Uh, I've had several um, single family residents and I've done I've done a couple of partnerships with investing into apartment complex from itty bitty small partner into it. But 
uh, being able to get into a duplex or fourplex. Um, the general rule I've always heard, and I firmly agree with it, if you don't own the whole roof, don't do it. Uh, because, yeah, if you can be the resident in one and then rent out two or uh, one other side, if you're a duplex or three other, that's fine. You can control what's going on with your tenants. If you don't own the whole roof, meaning you don't own the whole building, that meth head could come in there, move next door, and just destroy your property value. Um, and there are duplexes, quadplexes out there. So uh, that 5% makes things so much easier. If if it, if you're able to get into one for like 550, but that's like $25,000 to get into something, and you're going to recoup that 25K real fast and have a place to stay. Um, uh, investing's all about delayed gratification. So if you can be in that place, how long do you have to stay in there? Uh, is there a rule about that? I was gonna say too, let's say you don't enjoy your neighbors or living next to your tenants. When you sign that deed of trust, the, the intention is that this is gonna be your primary residence. So when you're signing that deed of trust, you're committing to at least one year there. Okay, you, that, that's that's very little pain to tolerate to be able to get that 5%. Right. So we have, and I love, 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 I'm seeing a lot of people take advantage of this right now. So you could do an FHA, VA, conventional loan, 0% down VA, 3.5% down FHA, or 5% down conventional. Either way, this is a smart way to do a housing hack and get that uh, that that's amazing. Uh, now now you've got my juices flowing because I, I I did a little research before coming on and I was like trying to find something out of like and there's some crappy ones out there. I'm like oh, but if you got a good realtor, ding 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 ding, uh, let us do some searches for you. We can put up an auto search for it. Um, and I always have to explain to my clients when I set you up on an auto search, putting in criteria, the computer's looking for it, and they're sending you what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, so you'll be the first to see it once it comes to the market or if they have a price change. So uh, what else can you tell us about this house hacking thing? I can definitely say that if you are looking to get into investing in real estate and having renters and you don't have a lot of money, this is probably the best way to do it. There are lots of ways to go about doing this. You can go buy a single family home that you don't live in that you're just going to rent out but the interest rates are ugly because interest rates for investment properties are, are not great compared to a primary residence. And the down payment investment is really high, 15 to 20% down depending on the loan type. But the key here is if you just want to start seeing what it's like to have a renter and gain rental income on top of the equity that the home is appreciating each year, this is probably the best hack. The only tough part about this is you got to live in one of the units for at least a year. But if you can stick it out for that year and then you can buy your next house, that's a gangbusters way to do it. Yeah, I, I'm prior military. As long as you know it's temporary, you can do anything. One year goes by real fast. Trust me, I know. Um, so yeah, you can tolerate anything for a year. And just to be able to immediately have a fourplex that's now building your wealth, uh, I work with clients. Some of them are older, further on in their life. And they're like, how do you get to where it's like, well, you got to start. And that's the key thing is you can't be afraid to pull the trigger on something. And with tools like that, and I know, and uh, I follow what's going on in California. And I know they just started doing a thing for, for house hacking where you can turn, build something in the back of your house and rent that out. Pretty sure you can't do that in Texas, but being able to get into a duplex or a quadplex and for 5%, yeah. that's freaking amazing. So it, it's, like I said, 550, that's $25,000 um, for all of you uh, millennials or, or Gen Zs, like I can't get anywhere. Well, stop going to Starbucks all the time and start putting that money away and um, save up because you can do it. it. It just takes a little delayed gratification. And then uh, 15, 20 years from now, 
you'll be the one trying to educate the next generation, old Gen Alpha, on this is how you do it. But you got to start. Okay. And the best way to do it is reaching out to someone like Miss Jen Bailey because she's got amazing information. Or reach out to me and, well, I'll probably refer you to Jen Bailey because she knows a lot more about that lending process than I do. Well, you're great at what you do. We say you stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine, and we'll we'll take care of clients the best we can because we both are strong in each of our lanes. So I, I love helping investors. So if you have investment questions, definitely reach out to Jason or myself. All righty. Well, uh, do you have anything else for us today, Miss Jen Bailey? That's the house hack of the day. I'm excited to do the next one. All righty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Most importantly, share these videos from friends and family. And if you see value in it, and if you're looking to move to the greater Texas Hill Country area to include Shirt Cibolo near Randolph Air Force Base, uh, New Braunfels, Baverde, even Bernie. I love Bernie. Um, most people don't realize that it doesn't cost you anything to use a real estate agent. And you get Miss Jim Bailey, too. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to use us. We are resources. So um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, don't go this process alone. All right. That's going to do it for today. And uh, hope you liked what you saw. All right. Take care now. Bye. Thanks, Jen. Thanks,